Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again. Today I am taking you in search of the Thatched House, a restaurant renowned for its traditional and authentic East African and Kenyan cuisine. Like most London towns, Barking too has characteristics of its own. However, where the name Barking originates from is open to a lot of speculation. There are some that say during medieval times, Barking had its own lunatic asylum and the name was derived from a term used to describe the mentally insane, Barking Mad. However, that theory is shrouded in a lot of scepticism as the term Barking Mad was not actually around in medieval times. And there's others that say it came from the Saxon word Bursingas, which means the settlement by the birch trees. Who knows? Comments below if you've got any ideas. Barking is predominantly made up of an Asian African community, which is one of the many reasons I love coming here because you know you are going to get authentic traditional dishes made to suit these cultures and not something that's been customised to suit the palates of your average Benidorm Brits. It is a hot scorching day today and not only do I feel like I might need a little bit of Dutch courage, I am also desperately in need of some refreshments and then as if by magic look at that just outside of Barking Tube Station is a Weatherspoons, the spotted dog. Oh my giddy aunt, I have been blessed. Happy days. Finally, after a small trek, through some what I could only um, describe as dodgy territory, which I don't mind too much because I actually grew up in that environment. I finally arrived at the thatched house. There you have it. Thatched house, Kenyan restaurant, pub. As you can see, it's not thatched and it's not a house. Hey, do you know what? Let's go and have a look inside. This menu is quite extensive with, as to be expected, mostly Kenyan East African dishes on there. Price wise generally quite average for London. There are a couple of things on there that I thought were a little bit overpriced but generally speaking it's the sort of price you'd expect to pay in pretty much any restaurant around this area. But one thing I am pleased to see, no service charge tucked away at the bottom of the menu in small print. For those of you who watch my channel will know that is one of my pet hates seeing service charge on a menu. I think it's uh, something that you should decide yourself if you want to leave a tip or pay for the service. Anyway, moving on gracefully, I've decided I'm going to go for the Matumbo. Uh, £12, that looks like a pretty good deal to me. Last of the big spenders, I hear you say, but to be honest with you, I do actually really like a bowl of Matumbo. Right, my food has arrived and before anyone points it out in the comments, 
I must just say that unfortunately due to copyright matters there is a lot of music playing in the background so I have had to overdub this so basically if you see my lips move and you can't hear what I'm saying that is the reason why anyway moving on gracefully I've been given a spoon and a fork to eat this with I am of course going to be using my hands to eat some of this food mainly because it is traditional but also because I think it actually tastes a lot better comments below what do you think I mean KFC just wouldn't be right with a knife and fork would it I've ordered ugali and matumbo matumbo is a traditional East African dish it's more like a sort of stew come bowl of soup sort of thing and generally the word tumbo means stomach so that pretty much gives you a rough idea of what is actually in it well I hasten to add I absolutely love this food and I am going to thoroughly enjoy this There you have it, the thatched house that isn't thatched and isn't the house, it's actually a pub, it's a Kenyan pub. Uh, they do um, DJs on Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights. It's a Tuesday night's night, I did that on purpose so that I could actually do a food video on um, the food I was eating, which was matumbo, which is basically tripe. Not everyone's cup of tea, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. With a good dollop of ugali, traditional Kenyan um, flour pudding sort of thing and yeah thoroughly enjoyed it if ever you're in the barking area then I highly recommend coming to this place just for something different uh, it's the uh, thatched house that isn't thatched and isn't a house but does some fantastic traditional Kenyan East African food Chef's Travels thanks very much for watching hopefully see you on the next one cheers